Hey, welcome to the show show. I'm Robbie. If you ever wanted to get that perfect ambient sound for your feature film, or perhaps you want to go in and record a music video live, get that real ambient sound, or maybe you want to do nature sounds, well, think about binaural audio. It's the old thing that has made a comeback, but the audio recording rigs for binaural 3D audio are quite expensive. Some dummy heads are about $5,000. I'm going to talk to you about what binaural audio is, how it works. Get your headphones ready because I'm going to give you a demo. And we're going to see if we can build a dummy head for about $100. Stick around. This is The Show Show. Robbie Ferguson. Okay, this is the show show, and this is the binaural audio dummy head edition. Uh, what we've got is this dummy head that I picked up on Amazon. I've got all the links for you right there, cat5.tv slash dummy. And uh, that's got everything that we're going to be looking at today. So this dummy head came to me. It was like nine bucks. You can get them pretty cheap. I'm going to tell you what I was looking for in a dummy head. Don't worry, I'm going to explain what I'm doing here. It's not to hold my wigs. I know, that would actually work really well, wouldn't it? Okay, this is just a simple foam dummy head. Uh, it is used for uh, show dis uh, like store displays to put hats on and things like that. Obviously, it's uh, a mold of, of somebody's face. Uh, what is important about this particular dummy head uh, is that it has ears. We want to be able to know exactly where the ears are because this is, you know, about the size, it's the size of a human head, and it's got ears in the proper p positions. Now, how binaural audio works, just to let you know. Now, stereo audio, say XY pattern, gives you a nice stereo left, right, but it is not 3D. It's interesting how the human ear works. It's, it's really actually kind of cool. We only have, if you think in terms of speakers, say, or microphones, we only have two ears, right? We don't have ears all around our head. So how is it that I can hear you over there? And if someone's coming up behind me, I can hear and I know that they're behind me when I've only got two ears. I don't have ears in the back of my head, even though my kids think sometimes I do eyes, perhaps. But uh, the human ear is really cool because it, with only two sensors, I'm able to pick up not just left and right, like the stereo signal, but also in front, behind, above, below. Binaural audio fills in the gap. And what it does is it records from the human ears that position so that when we play it back on headphones, we hear it in that spatial realm. So cool. Whoever discovered this is genius. If it wasn't so long ago, they, they should be like patenting it. Um, but anyway, so there are some cool ways to do this. Of course, there are dummy heads that you can buy prefabricated that are about $5,000. Uh, there are some binaural audio rigs that you can buy that, uh, that look like a stick with ears on them. And those cost anywhere around $500 or so. We're going to see if we can do it all for $100, excluding tools and the obvious things. So here's what I expect you already have. Of course, a microphone stand, that's something that I want to use because I want to be able to mount the head at about head level because if we're going to record something, we're not going to set it on the ground because who hears things from the ground? So then when we play that back, it's going to be kind of weird. This is the ant's perspective. Uh, so we want to actually have it on a pole. I'm expecting you already have a microphone. You're doing broadcasting, right? If you don't have 300 of these in the back room, there's something wrong. Now, uh, I, I always have a, a handful of microphone stands kicking around. I've got them all around me, and they're handy to have. So we've got a mic stand. We've got a drill. And I'm also going to expect that you've got this fancy little drill bed. Now, we're going to need to be able to position ears on this bad boy. And I needed a hole saw. Just a simple hole saw, I thought. But I couldn't find one that wasn't diamond encrusted. So if you don't already have a, ho a hole saw that is about a quarter inch, you're going to need something like that to be able to drill the hole uh, in this project. I went into Canadian Tire on the south end of Barrie. Thanks to Jake and Kelly for being able to hook me up with a great deal on this bad boy. It's way overkill for what we need. This one is meant for ceramic and porcelain, granite, all that kind of stuff. And it's diamond coated. So I'm, I said I'm drilling into foam. Don't you have anything cheaper? Uh, but So this is really the only thing that I had to buy that was like, oh, wish I didn't have to buy that. But... So we're not going to include that in the cost because I'm going to expect maybe you've got somebody nearby that has a diamond-encrusted 
quarter inch hole saw. The reason that we're going to go with a hole saw rather than a drill bit is because when you're drilling into the foam, you don't want it to get all those little uh, edges and everything in it. So uh, you know how foam kind of turns brittle if you drill into it. Uh, if you are using a, a, a surrogate, a corrugated, uh, like a, a sharp, like a saw hole saw. This one, as you can see, is a little different. It does not have any pointy edges. If you're using something like that and as your drill bit, you want to make sure that you set your drill in reverse so that and run it really, really slow so that we don't damage the foam. So this is going to be about the right size for an ear canal. So you can see how that's going to work. How that's going to happen, we've got a really cool device. I'm going to be showing you in just a couple of minutes, but Roland has brought out a CST, uh, 10, CS10EM, and these are uh, binaural microphones that go in your ear, so it's the perfect placement for recording. We're going to look at that in just a couple of minutes' time. The other thing that, uh, so that I don't expect you to have. That's all part of the cost. Uh, the other thing that I do expect you to have already, though, is some kind of a recorder with a powered 8-inch, uh, 3.5-millimeter uh, input uh, for your mic. So that would be, uh, you know, Tascam, any Tascam unit with an 8-inch powered input. Uh, the, uh, I use an H4N, for example, from Zoom. Uh, so any recorder I expect you to already have as well. If you don't, uh, I do have links for those. Uh, if you'd like to purchase those through us, it supports the show, the show show, uh, cat5.tv slash dummy. Okay, I've got my crummy drill here, and let's get started on this project. It's not going to take us long to build this bad boy because it's such a simple project. So here we go with ear canal number one. I'm going to just feel my ear, see where, yeah, it goes in right about there. Okay, so we've got a bit of a, a bit of an angle here. Perfect. That is lovely. Look at that. And it's just come out in foam beads. Okay, ear canal number two. And there we go. So we've got these nice clean drill holes for ear canals. <laughs> Beautiful. And you can't even really see that, but obviously those are there. So these dummy heads are, as I said, they're meant for uh, putting on a stand. So they quite often have a hole in the bottom. You don't need to drill that out. It's already there because when they put them in stores, they have the stands already for them. We don't want to just stick that on a mic stand and hope for the best. It doesn't even fit on my mic stand. Um, it's going to be wobbly. It's not going to be very good. So what I did is I ran out to the hardware store, and these are just plumbing uh, pieces, so a little six-inch pipe and a coupler that is the, uh, the threading of a mic stand. If you don't know, uh, take a mic stand with you, and the hardware store is not going to mind you doing that. So what this is going to do is that's going to gender change this for me. So now we've got a female uh, jack, and then I can put that in there. And we've got this nice narrow, about a half inch, three quarter inch pipe that I can put the head on. So if you see, now that hole fits nicely on there. There's still a little bit of wobble there. So let's see what we can do with that. Picked up these little felt pads just from the dollar store. So there's a, a buck added to our cost. It's a really cheap project, so I'm excited to see how it performs. I'm going to grab a couple of these felt pads, which are typically used for furniture. I'm just going to put them on here. The reason that I'm doing this, and I don't want to create something built into the head, is I want to make this extremely portable. I want to make it so that I can use the dummy head anywhere. It doesn't have to be on a stand. It can be on a stand. I want to make uh, the reason that I chose the CS10 EM microphones as opposed to some of the other ones that are out there. Uh, for one, the cost. They are really uh, relatively inexpensive for the quality. They're Roland brand, so you know that they're good. Uh, but also, because they are in-ear headphones, let's pull these out so you can take a look. Because these go in your ear or in your dummy's ears, these can now be used I'm not buying a dummy that is strictly a dummy. I've got now a binaural rig that can be adaptable. So I can take this as a dummy. I can put them in my ear and walk around or put them in an actor's ear and set them in the coffee shop if that's appropriate. But there are situations when that is not going to work. So you see how these work? So the microphone is on the outside, and these just go in your ears, and uh, they record the perfect audio. 
there you go. So scenarios, and I'm just going to use this mic now, or this camera now. So see how that goes? Beautiful. Scenarios where this works are, say you're, you're filming, um, uh, walking somewhere, or you're doing a shot where um, somebody's sitting in a coffee house and you want to get that ambient noise. It's fine to just stick them in someone's ears, and then it's a lot less stuff to carry around. It's, uh, it's easy. Also, on your camera guy. I mean, put these on the camera guy, and he's going to get the exact, he or she, I should say, is going to um, get the perfect sound for the ambient from the camera's perspective. However, if you're shooting nature or in nature, uh, I like to shoot a lot of nature audio. So um, one thing that uh, is true is the mosquitoes are attracted to heat. This is not going to generate any heat. So if I wear these, the mosquitoes are going to swarm. That's not a problem. I wear a bug net, but what happens to my binaural audio? It gets crazy because the mosquitoes fly right up to the heat source, which is my head. And, uh, of course, then you hear those in the recording. So this is going to help with the quality of the recording as well. So these are simply going to go into the ear canals that we drilled into our dummy head. Okay, so let's pop this up now, see if that's a better fit now that I've added these cushions. It's going to be nice and snug. See that? Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> That's how snug it is. So this pole, this little six inch, is going to be kind of a permanently, not really permanently, I know that it's just in, shoved in there with some, with those, uh, whatever you call them, the pads. Look at how solid that is now. It is not, I mean, my mic stand is wobbling, the, uh, the head is not. So now I've got this thing that I can just screw on to the mic stand wherever I am. Set it at my height. And we need to name this guy. You want to help me name him? What should we call this dude? Okay, and then microphone one. Microphone two. There we go. We have successfully, I know it's crazy, right? Because you think, you've seen some demos where people have drilled big holes, put microphones in the head. No, this is so much simpler. And then I've got the ability to take these out and use them in their traditional way of just wearing them in my ears as binaural microphones. So again, the way the binaural recording works is because this is a anatomically correct head. So it's got ears, the ear canals are in the right spot, all this stuff doesn't need to have eyes and things, but it does kind of improve his visage. Um, it's recording where the headphones are going to be set. So if you look at this, that's exactly where the headphones are going to be. So as I record from these microphones in this dummy head, it's going to now record what you would hear if you were this dummy head. So now when I put on headphones, I'm going to hear it perfectly in 3D. So get your headphones ready. I'm going to show you how this works in just a moment. So that's really all there is to it. The next step is, you know, we can dress him up, put a wig on him, put a hat on him. Um, one final thing, as you look at cat5.tv slash dummy, uh, I was excited about this because when I ordered the Roland CS10EMs, uh, this microphone, the binaural microphone earbuds, I was thinking, how am I going to windscreen that? And I was thinking, maybe I need to get earmuffs. I thought earmuffs might be a good idea, and I can put earmuffs over top. Well... The CS10 EMs came in, and they do, in fact, include windscreens. So that you don't have to worry about windscreens, folks. So these windscreens, they work just fine. They are, they're subtle. They just snap right on on top of the microphone. Here you go. And now there's a little added protection from the wind noise on top of that. And you can go all out and add more stuff, but that is going to take care of a lot of that wind noise that you're expecting uh, to, to receive if you're outside. So there we have it. It uh, cost us under 100 bucks. All the totals are there. And uh, it looks pretty good. Let's take it out in the field as we wrap up the show. So put your headphones on now, stereo headphones. Make sure you're watching this in HD. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you select the button, hit the HD mode, 720p, and then you're going to hear this in full 3D surround sound. Broken heart, just left in my broken heart.
Come see. That guy's uh, looking at you. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm going to fly it around the head. What head? That head. That one? Yeah. Oh, no. He's flying around that head. there you have it. Works great. What do you think? <laughs> thanks for subscribing on YouTube and thanks for watching the show show today. I'm Robbie Ferguson. I'll see you next time. The show show is a production of the category five TV network. Find out more or subscribe to our other shows at category five TV. Thanks for watching.